Hey everyone, Zephyr here and welcome to my channel. Today we are building a house in The Sims 2 and this house kind of ties into another series on my channel which is my Build a City Challenge series. If you haven't been watching that series or you missed the latest episode, I recommend going to check it out, especially if you want to avoid spoilers because I'm going to be talking about it today. Basically this house is for a sim who got kicked out of her previous house. Okay, maybe kicked out isn't the right term, but she lost a rock paper scissors contest and was kind of forced to move out. I just felt like her and her roommate were not meshing well and I thought it'd be natural for her or her roommate whoever lost the contest to leave. Her roommate had just become a plant sim and you know was focusing on his business and I really felt that she wasn't thriving. I felt like I was focusing too much on the plant sim so I decided to separate them, and I'm hoping this means that my sim can finally thrive and not be held back by the plant sim roommate. And if I haven't completely sold you on this Build a City Challenge series, it's also a little bit spicy. I, I think it's going to get very interesting. Um, there's a kidnapped victim, there's a cult forming, uh, it's going to be a messy neighborhood, but uh, I'm excited to play it. It also has a playable school with only two students who are siblings. Um, these sims are kind of bad at reproducing, but we're trying. We're going to get there eventually. I also forgot to mention that this house is a little bit unique just because it has a business attached to it. I rarely play home businesses in The Sims 2, but I decided to give the sim a purpose, a, a goal in life, and she is going to have a gym attached to her house, which makes sense because, like, she's a former college athlete. Okay, like I feel like her bringing the first gym into my build a city challenge series makes sense But anyway, how are you guys doing? What's happening in your sims games? Uh, honestly, not a whole lot has been happening in mine because for the last week I've been out of town if you didn't see my last video, basically I went to Hellcon in Halifax, which is a convention that happens every single year and this is my third year ago and I believe for context, if you haven't seen the video, you can definitely like go and watch it because I'll be talking about what happened in this video. Uh, it, I guess it's not a required watch, but like if you want to get like the visual idea of what I was doing, you could always go check out that vlog. But if you're just here with the Sims speed build, I understand too. I, I, I understand if you want to mute me and just like watch the build, but I like the app, okay? Anyway, day one of the con was quite possibly my favorite day of a convention like ever. I had such a good time. Like they really just packed all the good things about the convention into Friday. Like there, there was other fun things to do but like Friday just felt like everything I really 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 wanted to do was happening. The day started off with me getting Chad Michael Murray's autograph, which is wild to me. Um, I'm, I'm a relatively new Chad Michael Murray fan, honestly. Like, I'm getting into one Tree Hill, because my friend pretty much got me into it, and, like, I don't know, I, I've always appreciated Chad Michael Murray, okay? Like, you, you can definitely, like, see him and appreciate him, right? But yeah, now I think I'm just becoming a fan. And he's actually, like, so nice, too. Like, I was really nervous and awkward, and he made the interaction, like, not awkward, if that made sense. Like, he he's good with people, which I guess makes sense, because he's an actor, but, like, I don't know. He, he's nice. We had only bought the one autograph and he took the time to shake my hand and my boyfriend's hand even though we only like bought the one little thing and I don't know I just appreciated it. Immediately after that we got to see a wrestling show that was happening at the con which is exciting because I love wrestling. They put on a really good show too and like honestly guys if you're not even interested in watching like wrestling on TV I recommend going to watch a wrestling show like a local wrestling show because it, it, it's different in person. It, it's wild. Like, my boyfriend's not much of a wrestling fan, but he loves to watch it in person. And to, like, top the night off, there was a improv show that they do every year that I loved called the Dorks and Dungeons. There was also a drag show, and there was also a burlesque show. So, like, Friday was just jam-packed with, like, things to do, and it was such a good time. But then day two came along, and day two was kind of dramatic. If you've seen the vlog, you would know. But there, there's also another part of day two that happened that I just refused to vlog about because I was kind of mad. But we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Um, we woke up, 
And it was snowing outside, which is fine. It's, like, Canada in November. Like, you kind of expect snow. But, like, that should have been my sign about how the whole day was going to go. The day started off pretty cool. Like, we got up. We decided we were going to go to this Victorian tea party thing. Well, like, we didn't. We decided, like, weeks in advance because we had to buy tickets, right? So, we walked over to Citadel Hill and we had a Victorian tea party and it was nice. I had some tea and I had some sandwiches. It was a cute little experience. Uh, and honestly, the con itself was pretty decent Saturday. There wasn't like a lot of things that I was super interested in doing like Friday, but like I had a good time. I, I bought some things on the vendor hall. I, um, went to a couple little things here and there and I believe, yeah, no, Saturday was also the day where we went to this little workshop where we were supposed to be able to make our own keychain, right? And it was like a sewing thing, except the description of the event didn't make it clear it was a sewing thing. And uh, we thought that there was going to be a more instruction when it came to the event. So we were kind of like <laughs> lost, like my boyfriend and I aren't really people who sew all that often, right? And, um, we, we thought there'd be instruction, uh, but we were just given, like, a little baggie of things to make the keychain with, and, like, they barely even talked to us. It, it was awkward, okay? Like, uh, maybe we're at fault for not, you know, putting two and two together that there wasn't going to be instruction or something, but, like, it felt like we were just giving a little kit for, like, literally $30. Like, we, we had to pay $15 each for the the little baggie. And thrown to the wolves. Like, they gave us no instructions at all. So that, that kind of soured my mood a little bit because, I don't know, I, I could have used some instruction, okay? It, it was not a good time. But the night was saved when I went to the second Dorks and Dungeons show. It was really good. Uh, but then the night was soured again because... Um, <laughs> Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. I also went to see the Trailer Park Boys do a... It wasn't a QA, and a It was, like, more of a live interview. And it was kind of nice seeing that maritime Canadian culture on stage, you know? Uh, but yeah, then my boyfriend had a game he wanted to play scheduled for, like, 9 p.m. at the convention. And I didn't want to play this game, right? And sometimes conventions are overwhelming for me. Like, there's a lot of people, a lot of noise, and I just need, like, downtime. I need to be able to go to my hotel room and relax and kind of, like, decompress, right? And my boyfriend knows this, too, so he dropped me off at the hotel room, and I was intending on having a nice, relaxing night while he went and played his game at the convention. Because it was, like, 9 p.m. when this was all happening, right? I showered, I put on hockey, I ordered some McDonald's, and I was basically having, like, a treat yourself kind of night, and I was intending on, like, talking about how important it is to still take care of your, like, mental health when you're at a convention, and, like, if you feel overwhelmed that it's okay to leave. Like, I was planning on talking about that. But then I got a text message, and it was with the people we went to the convention with, my friends, right? And they're like, um, are you hearing this announcement? And I'm like, what announcement? I'm in the hotel. And then they're like, we're in the hotel too, uh, there's a fire. And I'm like, fire? Like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> and then I hear the announcement, and it's like, yeah, we are investigating a fire, uh, more information to come. And mind you, this is supposed to be my relaxing, like, decompressing time, and I'm alone, and we were actually on the top floor of the hotel. My friends were, like, a few floors down, right? And <laughs> I'm alone on the 19th floor of this hotel, and they're announcing there's a fire, so I'm, like, kind of panicking. Uh, but I looked out the window, and I only saw one fire truck, so that kind of calmed me down a bit. I feel like if there was an actual, like, dangerous fire happening, they would send more than one fire truck. But I'm not gonna lie, like, it was supposed to be my time to relax, and I ended up, like, kind of panicking. I called my parents, like, crying. Uh, it was a whole thing, but obviously, I'm okay. The hotel was okay. You know, 
Um, they did not tell us anything about what happened, even though they said they would. I, I guess I didn't want to, like, at that point it was, like, 10.30 or something. They didn't want to, like, disturb people with a, oh, never mind, the, we found nothing type message. But, like, <laughs> I couldn't have been the only one in that hotel kind of freaking out over it. Because it, it was kind of scary. Oh, God, the app fest has gone way too long. Day three was fun. Um, nothing super monumental happen, but I need to talk about the build for a bit. It's gonna be available on my Patreon for free if you would like to download it. If you guys like the video, please give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more Sims 2 content, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Also, subscribe if you want to see more. I need to use this again. I'm sorry.